Good afternoon and welcome to the show. I'm Simi Sarah. November 15th is Election Day in B.C. and I keep saying this because I want to make sure people get out there and vote. No matter who you vote for, just make sure you do it. Now, as part of that process, we are posting a couple of debates here. Last week, you heard from some of Surrey's mayoral candidates. Today, it's Vancouver's turn. We've all heard the words like affordability, homelessness, livability. But are those really the key issues in the Vancouver election? What matters to you? Well, we've had great response on our listener line with questions from you, and you'll also have a chance to call in this hour as well. Right now, let's meet some of your candidates for mayor. We have Kirk LaPointe, Mina Wong, and Gregor Robertson. Thanks to the three of you for being here. Thanks a lot. Good Thank to be here. Uh, just a word about the format here. We drew names earlier, and the order of the introduction that I just did is the order that will go in for the opening comments. And for the candidates, just so you know, I mean, we are here to listen to you answer questions. Uh, I would ask that you respect each other's responses. No interrupting. uh, Try to refrain from personal attacks, please. Uh, We're going to start with a one-minute opening statement. Mr. LaPointe, you're up. Thanks, Simi, and thanks, everyone, for listening today. My name is Kirk LaPointe. I want to be your mayor. I'm running under the banner of the NPA, the Nonpartisan Association. I offer the change you want. I can do the things Gregor Robertson has not done for the city. I can manage your tax dollars better so we don't fritter them on pet projects. I can deliver an open government so we don't hide the facts from you any longer. I can ensure you're seen, heard, and understood on important issues so we don't have phony consultations any longer. I'm a newcomer, but I have much more business experience than Gregor Robertson did when he entered City Hall. I've held some of the uh, largest media jobs in the country, but I come from a poor family, so I'm compassionate about our most vulnerable. I know our moral obligations, and I'm beholden to no one. You'll see that in my government. Transparent, accessible, cost-conscious, trustworthy, consultative, practical. I will not meet developers or create deals with labor. I'll be mayor for your interests, not special interests. Re-election of Gregor Robertson will mean a decade of empty words and broken promises on transit, on homelessness, and our economy. Voting for our NPA team, and for me as mayor, provides fresh eyes on a great city badly run. Real change for a change. Thank you. Ms. Wong. Thank you, Sammy, for having me here. uh, I'm happy to be back again. My name is Mina Wong. I'm running for the mayor of Vancouver with COPE. The big question of this election is, who do you trust to make Vancouver affordable? Both Vision and NPA took millions from property developers last election. So their policies are for the developers. COPE policy are focused on making life more affordable for everyone. We all know that there are so many people without homes, and even more homes without people. So let's place a duty on vacant properties to fund real affordable housing built and owned by the city of Vancouver. We all want rapid transit across the city, but only COPE will make it more affordable. So let's give a dollar a day you pass to all Vancouverites. On November 15th, vote COPE. Vote for Vancouver you can afford. Thank you very much for that, Mr. Robertson. Thanks, Simi, for hosting us today. I love Vancouver, and I believe in our city, and I'm proud of a Vancouver that has strong economic growth, has the lowest property taxes of any major city in Canada now, and provides world-class city services. The NPA and Kirk LaPointe have shown this week that they'll put a $146 million hole in the city's finances, and that will inevitably result in tax hikes and cuts to public services. His platform walks away from homelessness, from child care, and the environment. And Mr. LaPointe LaPointe has repeatedly walked away from the tough questions. And Mr. LaPointe, real leaders don't walk away when the going gets tough. In contrast, Vision offers strong leadership to represent Vancouver's values at City Hall. Our plan is to grow the economy and cut traffic congestion with the new Broadway subway, to keep building new affordable housing, and to stand up to Kinder Morgan's proposal for 340 more oil tankers in our harbour. Vancouver needs positive leadership to stand up for our key priorities, and Vision Vancouver has the strong and experienced team we need to keep this city moving forward. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much for those opening statements. And I'll, Well, that didn't take long, did it? Boy, we said no personal attacks, but it seems like that's, we got a lot of that in our opening statements. I'm going to start with you, Mr. LaPointe, on that. Are you happy with how this campaign has gone so far? You wanted to keep it positive, but I didn't hear a lot of positive in anybody's message there. 
Well, what I've steered clear of is personal attack and attacking instead the performance and the policy and the platform of our opponent. Um, I believe that there's much to answer for. I believe that we've had a city of uh, inaction, uh, and I think, uh, I think we've had, in some cases, uh, pet projects pursued over city projects, over things that people want. And we've clearly got neighborhoods that are alienated and upset. They're in court more than a dozen times, really, with the city right now. So what could you as, do to change that? Well, first of all, you, you need to consult. You need to see here and understand the community. I mean, neighborhood after neighborhood I, I go to see, um, they say the same thing. You know, we're not against uh, development of our community. We're not against uh, more people, of course, moving to Vancouver. But, you know, we want to be brought into the picture. We don't want City Hall to come with a plan, foist it on us, and then expect us to tick the box. I mean, we think that that's not genuine, not authentic. So I think I'm the voice of the upset taxpayer which is uh, someone who doesn't feel seen, heard, and understood in this city. All right. Ms. Wong, what about you? Has this gone the way you anticipated? Well, the way that I look at it, it's uh, policy. Let's policy be the message in this election. What we have been doing is uh, we've been leading the policy in the forefront uh, and uh, in this election, our policy on dealing with uh, you know homelessness, uh, affordability, as well as the vacant properties that uh, we have been seeing like uh, vampant in, in Vancouver. So we want to take a control of that. I think the other two parties, the difference between us is they are developer parties and we're not. And when you receive millions of dollars in donation from developers, you are beholden to them. So your policies and uh, even, you know, uh, visions of Jeff Max said that, that their housing authority basically is a one-stop shop for developers. What we want to do is make sure that Vancouver housing is affordable for people and our transit is affordable for people, as well as the wages that we have seen that Vancouver wages, uh, you know, our living a wage here is $20.10, and yet the minimum wage is only $10, half of what that is. So what we want to do is give our uh, workers, city workers uh, and contractors a living wage while pushing uh, uh, other levels of government for a $15 minimum wage for big hotels and big chain stores. Okay, Mr. Robertson, why has this gotten so personal? I keep hearing names going back and forth, and everybody is doing it. Why? Well, I, it's been very disappointing to have the, the direct personal attacks uh, on myself by the NPA. You know, you expect that in American politics, but uh, certainly it's new to Vancouver. And that's disappointing, but I think it substitutes for actual content and but you, actual But you did positions. it yourself in the opening statement. Everybody is doing it. No, I, I, I diff, beg to differ. I we think we've seen very direct personal attacks. Uh, I've had that from debates from Mr. LaPointe and certainly from his NPA colleagues over the past months attacking my family uh, last of the summer. And that, that hasn't happened before, I don't think, in Vancouver politics. And it seems to be a different tactic when there is no substance. And you, you look at the NPA's platform that was released yesterday after people started voting, and it has said nothing on homelessness or affordable housing. It said nothing on the environment. It said nothing on child care. Really critical issues in Vancouver. And there's, there's no proactive points in it. And, you know, so without the content, it's turned into a, a bunch of personal attacks and dirty politics. And that's, that's unfortunate. I think that's sad and a sad state of affairs for... Well, then, when, then withdraw your ads. I mean, your ads are extremely personal on mine. Um, your, your I think everybody, let's be your, fair, your, everybody's your, ads are, your, are personal. I've, I've, we've got them running on this radio station. And, and I'm constantly well, I think ours is not a, that's what makes us stand out or we can oh, because we are not uh, developers funded so okay, uh, we right. don't gonna, have uh, hey, we don't have the money I think in I said at the beginning no interrupting but and it, I'm going to make everybody stick to that and I do have questions from our listener line and rather than continue the personal debate let's get into some issues when we come back